Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to be finding your ideal customer avatar using Jasper.ai. This is kind of a continuation of my previous video and because of that I want to give credit where credit is due. Sean posted this in Jasper which is pretty much saying you can get any type of audience research done which I did a previous video but for this I want to get a little bit more of a customer avatar. Instead of figuring out just their struggles, uh, what else do they want? What are some of the benefits of their big goal? Why do they want to do that? Why are there, what are their desires and the fears and so on and so forth? If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link down below so you can go ahead at tackling your customer avatar. It will come with a free trial and many bonus words. Let's begin. So we're going to be using the Jasper commands and I have two different tabs open. One's going to be talking about the fears and struggles. For this, I just put a busy mom who wants to start her online business and I added a little bit extra in there that may or may not come up with the uh, information that we get, but it's just a little bit extra. And then this is going to be more about the benefits and the same exact thing right there. So let's do the first one. Let's click generate and see what we get. All right, so here we go. Keep in mind, this is all about getting just ideas and kind of like, you know, picking and choosing which phrases you like. Because when it comes to picking an avatar, it's not that you don't know how to pick one. It's more about how can you describe them? Like, how can you describe their problems, needs, and wants better than they can? When you get to that specific aspect, you're going to be really good to go to like, you know, announce your message and speak to whoever it is that you're coming up with. So let's look at this right here. A busy mom who is trying to start her online business business can often feel overwhelmed and burdened by the task. Not only does she have a full-time job, she also has a family to take care of and not enough hours in the day for her to do it all. She may be filled with an anxiety and uncertainty about what she needs to do in order to make her business a success, struggling with the dilemma of how much time she should devote on her new venture without compromising her other commitments. That is a fantastic way of saying this. Just very similar to my previous video, I've noticed that commands have probably had some of the best copy out of all the templates which is a hard thing to do like there are a few of the templates like the AIDA formula or framework is great for copy but but these really uh sing a very delightful phrase maybe not so delightful but in terms of copywriting like they really hammer home some of the pain points and that's a good thing like if you want to speak to your perfect audience you're going to want to do that on top of that she may find it difficult to juggle multiple tasks at once while also finding time for herself hobbies outside of work so we also have the fear of failure can be ever present i'm going to kind of skim through uh, we'll need to manage numerous aspects such as marketing, bookkeeping, networking, customer service, and that can seem daunting or even impossible. Powerful words right there. Uh, if they didn't feel confident in these areas, so a lack of confidence, that can also get into the, like the I'm not techie thing or like I'm a technophobe, you know, the, the common phrase. Uh, this skimming through time management, it can be intimidating, but with planning and determination, it can be done, so on and so forth. So overall, some great phrases for you to use in there, like if you are going to add that to your customer avatar or perfect avatar. Let's move to the other side. So the first one was all about like fear, struggles, worries. This is more about uh, wants, desires, biggest benefits, kind of like the heaven state. Uh, I remember I took coaching once and they described it as heaven and hell. So previously was hell. Like what's the struggle? What's keeping you up at night staring at the ceiling? That would be a good phrase to ask Jasper. Maybe I'll do that if this doesn't go too long or maybe I'll do another video. Anyway, describe some of the benefits when it comes to a busy mom starting and growing a successful online business. Probably could be worded a little differently. Every time I say that, it's usually, <laughs> it, it can be, but uh, I'm just going to go with this. Let's see what we get. And we can always change it around. Okay. okay. So it's a great opportunity. They can structure their schedule how they want, make it easier to balance life, family, and their businesses. So that's a complete counterintuitive to how it was before. You know, someone was thinking that, oh my God, with a business, uh, I'm going to lose a lot of my freedom. What about my other uh, commitments? But with this, it's more about, well, you can actually balance it the way you want. So that, that's cool. It's like the, the polar opposite, right? The internet provides moms with an individual resource for networking, learning, socializing, and marketing their products or services. Um, let's see, can benefit from having flexible hours that's most convenient for her can take advantage of the lower overhead costs associated with it. So these are really good. These are a lot of objection breakers, I guess you could say, depending on what the business is, right? Like affiliate marketing is pretty cheap. You know, a lot of just selling eBooks is very cheap. There's no overhead. Like it's an eBook. They get it immediately, you know, not, not that big of a deal, right? In terms of marketing and promotion, they can use social media. Uh, these are more of benefits. See, I definitely needed to write this better. I, I had to, I was thinking more of why does you know she want to do that? You know, a lot of times it's going to be money. It could be freedom to be spending more time with their family, like those big benefits, their wants, their needs and desires. Definitely, like I said before, I felt I could have wrote this a little bit better to get a better outcome. And I was right. 
It's very rare that I am. I'm just kidding. Every now and then, right? Another huge benefit of starting an online business is being able to automate many processes using various tools. So that can be related to, uh, I guess, freedom, outsourcing, you know, systematizing, stuff like that, and have more control over how much money, if any, she spends on advertising. So money would be another one. So you could probably dive deeper into that just by giving it a different type of command. But overall, I think you get the idea about how you can use this for like your, your customer avatar, your perfect avatar. It's more about talking about like, what is it they want the most? What is it they struggle the most with? Because you need to know both of those things, right? It's going to be uh, both sides of the coin when you're marketing, because some people might be looking for that big benefit. That's all they want. And some people might relate better to talking about their struggles, especially if you've gone through the same scenario where you can say like, hey, I used to go through that. I used to work all day long. Uh, nothing seemed to work and so on and so forth. I'm sure you've seen a lot of the copywriting stuff like that. But all in all, that's just another great way of using commands. I didn't realize commands were so great. I'm probably going to do even a few more videos just to be very creative with this. And once again, I want to thank Sean. He gets a lot of the credit. I didn't come up with this stuff. I saw it and I'm like, that's a great uh, topic here. I'm going to make a video. Hats off to him. And for anyone else, in case you want to test out Jasper, I will have my link down below. And if you click that, you can get a free trial with many bonus words. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.